It has been nine months since a massive cargo ship ran aground in the Chesapeake Bay. Boy, it took a long time in there, didn't it? We now know who was to blame for the Everford getting stuck for weeks. The U.S. Coast Guard found it was the local pilot who was distracted and the ship's captain had left the bridge. News 4's Mark Seagraves covered the story from day one and has the details on what went wrong. The Ever Forward was leaving Baltimore on March 13th when it missed a turn in the shipping lane and got stuck in the mud. It took 35 days for salvage crews to dig the ship out and get her back out to sea, an expensive process that included the removal of about 500 shipping containers. Now the Coast Guard has released the findings of their investigation. Most of the blame centers on the local pilot who was aboard to guide the ship through the Chesapeake Bay. It's very clear here, and it comes out in the report, that the pilot was so distracted from what he was doing, he was writing an email at the time based on a previous voyage, that he missed a turn. Sal McCargliano, a professor of maritime history, explains the pilot isn't the only person the Coast Guard faulted. While the pilot was distracted, the captain left the bridge to have dinner. He was busy texting and emailing away. And the master abandoned the bridge, which I think is another major issue there, that the master turned to control the vessel over to the uh, most junior officer on the ship, the one who would be the least likely to question the pilot and second guess the pilot. The pilot was suspended the day the report was made public, but had not piloted any ships since the incident in March. While the investigation is closed, there is still the possibility of charges being filed. The Coast Guard has closed the action based on this report, but what they are doing is going to be filing charges against the pilot for basically endangering the vessel. That seems to be where they are going next with this. As for the costs of salvaging the Ever Forward, that was paid for by the ship's insurance company. Well, I think both the, the shipping company, the pilot, and the pilot association now find themselves potentially exposed for litigation in the salvage. The Coast Guard has also recommended the Maryland Pilots Association consider restricting pilots from using cell phones for personal use in contained waters like the Bay. Mark Seagraves, News 4. Now, as for the ship itself, the Everford sustained very little damage and has resumed its shipping routes and has passed through the Chesapeake Bay to Baltimore Harbor several times since getting stuck.